Hi and welcome to a lecture on pruritus. Pruritus is the medical term for itch. Itch is an unpleasant sensation on the skin that provokes the desire to rub or scratch the area to obtain relief. It is important to note here that certain systemic diseases have long been known to cause pruritus that ranges in intensity from a mild annoyance to an intractable disabling condition. The goals of therapy here are to determine the cause of pruritus, to rule out underlying systemic disease and to individualize management of pruritus to maximize effectiveness while minimizing the risk of side effects. Now let's get to discuss pharmacologic choices in the management of pruritus. Topical therapy is the first choice for treatment of mild or localized itch. Systemic therapy is generally reserved for severe and generalized itch that has not responded to topical therapy. With reference to the use of topical antipruritics, it should be noted here that there is inadequate evidence to support the use of topical antihistamines, for example diphenhydramin, for the relief of pruritus. Here again, topical diphenhydramin can also cause allergic contact dermatitis. Promoxin hydrochloride is a topical anesthetic with low sensitizing potential that may provide short-term relief. But it is important to avoid topical benzocaine and other cane topical anesthetics as they can sensitize the skin. Topical corticosteroids are useful and appropriate only if pruritus is caused by an inflammatory skin condition which typically presents as visible redness along with symptoms of itch and or tenderness. The choice of the topical corticosteroid is based on factors such as location and extent of the eruption, severity and type of inflammation, age of the patient and anticipated duration of use. Now let's get to discuss systemic therapy, antihistamines. With the exception of urticaria, antihistamines have little direct effect on other conditions associated with pruritus. However, the first generation antihistamines have a sedative effect which can be useful at night to facilitate sleep. In the specific case of urticaria, histamine 1 blockers are the agents of choice. Other systemic pharmacologic treatments The evolving understanding of the pathophysiology of pruritus has led to many different therapies being tried. Note here that many of those discussed in the next few slides have limited available evidence or results have not been confirmed with large randomized trials. Doxepin, a tricyclic antidepressant with potent antihistaminic properties, is useful in some cases of chronic urticaria. It may also be useful in those patients with psychogenic causes of pruritus. 